good afternoon. I'm at the river here to enjoy some of the last nice days of the, of the season before winter really sets in. Um, so I'm gonna go look for rocks. I'll try to show you each one. The big issue is the river is way up right now, as you can see, and really flowing. But I brought a towel and uh, I came prepared to get wet. It is pretty cold out, so I don't want to get too soaked. But we'll see. Um, otherwise, just gonna go hunt for agates. I'll try to show you guys each one and uh, enjoy the day. So have fun, follow along. Starting off strong with this teeny tiny little ghost agate. <laughs> So small. There's some bands in there, but they're really hard to see. Oh, right, we're gonna find something bigger than that. Hopefully. We've got two in one spot. Can you see this one in the middle? Here. The way they kind of glow. There's some nice reds and blues on there. And then right over here, there's this guy sitting. Little nodule, nice and blue. There's a wedge of a chalcedony. Nice and shiny. A little vintage bottle top. Not really even, well, kind of sharp. And next to it, some jasper. It's a beautiful day. Sorry about my tripod here, just ignore that. For some reference on the water level, this is normally completely dry. And you can see up, it's all the way up here. So the river, I think, is probably more than two feet higher than normal, um, which will make for some interesting crossing. And It'll be very cold. <gasps> so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Well, maybe we'll just poke around here for a while and work up the desire to cross. This is what the agates look like after it rains. They kind of sit on the surface, stuck up on top, so it makes it a lot easier to find them. Even the little ones. See how stuck this one is in here. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, it's a full little nodule. Ooh, look at those bands. A little lick. Yeah, nice little bands. I find a lot of this yellow jasper. And I think it's pretty neat. I kind of wish it was a different color. Brianna always says, it's ugly, don't keep it. But, you know, it's cool. Even if it is an ugly color. Kind of mustardy. Here we go. Some red jasper. I think a deep ketchup red. Ugh. <sighs> All right, wish me luck, y'all. It's, ah, uh, it's cold, it's very cold. That's where we're heading. Let's see how deep we really get here. Let's see, right here is where I normally get in. That's up to my knees. Oh. I'm, I'm double thinking this because I can walk along the bank out here and not freeze my legs off. Oh, that hurts. You know, you get used to it after a bit, but it hurts. Mm. All right, that river would have been more than waist deep 
So I'm gonna try to go along the bank. There's a little agate here. See if I can't find a path that takes me to a new gravel patch, not across the river. So I'm gonna try to try to skirt along the edge here. Nice white one. White and red. I love these ones. They're just like little discs, but lots of color. A little vintage, maybe bottle of something. Any markings on it? 247L. Sorry. 247L. Is that medicine or perfume or what? It's full of sand, is what it is. Let me know in the comments if you know what it is. Stepped on this one right right as I saw it. Nice. Little hematite nodule. These are interesting. Alright, so I was walking along and there's not a clear path like right next to the river. And I don't want to go trespassing on people's properties also hunting season so there's some motivation for you so I'm just gonna try to tough it out and get across here um, the air is quite warm so warming up afterwards isn't gonna be an issue so it'll just be you know a minute or two of pain and suffering and then I'll be good so let me take all the important stuff out of my pockets and uh, make sure the phone is secure because you're wobbling like crazy don't fall off into the river all right, are you ready? I brought my tripod today, so it looks like a selfie stick. Here we go. Step back in. It's up to my waist. That'll be interesting. Ah! It's cold. It's cold water. Where I'm walking is often out of the river. I pull my glasses out of my pocket, put my hoodie. See how fast it's flowing too. It's interesting because that's the deepest part. Stuck right in the cross current. Okay. Okay. Not so bad. Ooh, that sand is thick. It's like 50 plus degrees outside, so the air is okay. All right, one more crossing. That's where we came from. That's where we're going. Going. Of course, we have to go back, but it's a little bit less upriver. But this is really fast flowing. I'm gonna try to go along the edge here, so I'm shoot across, and that's my that's my path right up there. I think if I remember, it gets deeper here. Goes up and then gets deeper again. I don't really have free hands to swim. Shut up.
I'm gonna go back and go farther up the river. That was too deep. All right, gotta get up in the grass. It's cold. My feet are starting to hurt. But we made it. Let me show you this cool road that used to be a road. Look at that. It's a river. Hi. Right. This is why. Oh, that chest deep. Whoops. Oh well. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Maybe hit that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't. Everything tingles. Let's keep going. Uh, this is how much deeper it is than normal right here it's up to my knees and um, that's normally out of the water completely so, all right let's get to that gravel bar seen the river quite this high, at least while I've been at it. Even this part of the road is normally out of the water, which means we're up more than three feet up from normal because I'm up to my waist right now. It's quite a current actually pushing back on me. Going home will be easy, right? Any of you from the Asheville, North Carolina area know about the Woolly Worm Festival? These guys are just trying to survive the flood here <laughs> in a bush all alone. I see one, two, three, five of them up in that bush by itself. I don't know if it really shows up on camera, but I love the way the sun shines through the tops of these plants. Just nice glow. Right up there is a gravel bar. I'm gonna go get stand in the sun and get warmed up. Man, this water is so high right now. Right where I'm standing is the edge of the bank, and that's the bank current over there. The edge of the bank normally is where I'm standing. So the good thing is, all this water is gonna stir up all new agates and everything. But for now, I can't find any. Oh, feet are hurting all because they're cold. Just came this straight over here. Get my shoes on. That fold hurts your skin and then. Alright, I was planning on going you know, maybe a half mile upriver 
but in my memory there's like four or five river crossings to get to that point and i just don't think it's quite worth it at this point i'll wait till the river goes back down to head back up there so i'm on one of my favorite gravel bars already actually and it just rained a bunch so perfect conditions um, to find some new agates in a spot that i've already been able to look so uh already finding some little ones here and there but um we're on the there's this gravel bar it's kind of funny it starts off with really little gravels around this area and then as you go way over there the gravels just get a little bigger and bigger but with the rain and everything this is perfect here's a little honey agate sitting at my feet um so we'll be able to nice i think we'll find quite a bunch here that's the plan i can stay in the sun stay warmer and then i only have to cross the river once to get back <laughs> so that'll do testing to see if this still works i just dropped my phone in that puddle right there that one it just went right in and uh i was thinking this is how saturated the sand is with water it's so saturated hmm. Anywho, hopefully the phone's not messed up or the mic or anything. If it is, you know why. This is almost like quicksand. You go whoop, 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 and you sink in. And then sometimes you don't, and then sometimes you do. I thought this was some ugly jasper but it's got some blue running all through it some rustiness we got the water right here let's get a little swish. see what we got Ooh. nice piece of jasper i think agatized jasper i haven't dug this one out yet i'm not sure if it's what it is oh yeah that's a honey agate but check out that glow oh, that sweet i don't know if i can see through it much a little bit oh that's a nice piece nice i wonder if there's bands on there please ignore the shaking my body is warming up. Very nice. All right, I'm going to take it to the river. <laughs> Give a little squish. What's that? Because oh. I saw right along here like a pocket and it's lined with that clear lining oh that's nice piece of bone when i picked it up it broke but you can tell with like fossilized bone and stuff like this if there's any moisture either on your hands or on your you can lick it if you want but it'll feel sticky um, so kind of cool Find all bones. I'll probably leave these here just because they're so mysterious. Some yellow jasper right next to it. I'll leave that there too. Keep looking for agates. There's a chunky one hiding in here. Oh yeah. Nice knob. Nice and glowy too. Ooh, that's nice. Blue. Sandy. <laughs> oh yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I've got some more that I'm going to show you that I have in my pocket. First of all, um, skipping rock. Then we've got some vintage garbage with some markings. Put those there for now. And a piece of pottery with green on the back. And then another piece of pottery with blue on the front that's interesting no markings or anything but kind of cool and then some little agates little babies so 
yeah they're here the stuff's here and a bunch of garbage i'm gonna skip that rock aha uh -huh. do you see it look at this See what's in here? Oh, chunky. Oh, yeah. We're getting some good ones today. Let me go get it wa washed. Oh, nice. Kind of brown, you know, but. Neat, nevertheless. I picked this one up, not thinking it was much, and then I turned it over, and it's quite see-through on this side. Got some nice qualities to it. Probably would tumble something like this, so we'll keep it. These little pieces of quartz are neat with the, the striations running through it. All right, we'll post up here for a second. First of all, for some important business. Yeah, oopsies. Well, you know, it happens. I overthrew it. Now, for the rocks that we found, I'll show you the ground here. And uh, some of these, kind of a reddish. Let me go back to normal. There we go. Reddish, purplish quartz. I'm actually gonna leave it there. And then I found a few more pieces of quartz, which I think will be cool to tumble. We've got some interesting designs in there. Um, a really ugly, really ugly piece of jasper. Might be cool to tumble. Some more jasper and uh, this chunky guy. Got some chalcedony in there. This one. Not, it's almost like chalcedony, but it's not see-through at all. It's completely opaque. So, kind of neat. And I got four more here. Got this little guy, a little yellow jasper with some red running through it. Um, bluish agate. Not too bad. With some bands on it. Um, a white agate with some more bands on it. And then a Teeny tiny one. I told you I'd show you all the ones I find today. Um, so here's the plan. I made it to I made it to the end of the gravel bar, and I'm a little bit cold, so I'm gonna start heading back to the car. I'm gonna look for rocks on my way back, obviously. So once I get back there, I'll show you all those rocks, and that, that'll be it. So I'll see you back at the car. I know I'm not back at the car yet, but I had to show you this see it glowing Ooh, you can see the band <laughs> oh my word oh my goodness that is a piece of honey agate right there with some banding on the side even oh yeah I'm gonna take that home and see if I can cut it or I don't even know what. Oh, look at those bands too on the top. That's the find of the day right there. Lovely. Okay, cool. All right. About to go back into the river. Wish me luck. See how well my off-road shoes stay on until I get over the gravel part. Oh, it's hurting. Oh, that's some deep sand. That, that's going to be difficult with these shoes. I don't think that's going to be possible. Eek. Well, that's better in sections. Feels better on my feet. I just need to tough it out. While we're here, you can tell me what length you would go to to find rocks. Huh? 
Oh, make sure I got everything. Leave that in the comments. Alright, let's get home. Hopefully my phone doesn't fall off in the water. Here we go. It's quite quick moving. I'm gonna go up, go in here, see how fast it's moving. So I'm gonna go across and let it pull me down somewhat. So much easier going down though, because I'm going with that current. Shoes stayed on nicely. Uh oh, my shoes are about a foot deep in the sand right now. go round two shoot well lost them where my shoes go this is a nice float Made it. Made it alive. My glasses are a little foggy. That's no good. There's an agate right here. And I've got. Just put those in there. Got a few more to show you guys. Back at the car and whatever I find on the way back. But anyhow, I'll show you guys those. Thanks for watching. I appreciate every single one of you that spends the time to watch these videos, and I uh, hope you enjoyed today from the warmth of your couch, and uh, yeah, goodbye. Once again, I didn't make it back before finding a sweet agate. Oh yeah, look at the dark depth on that thing. Oh, that's nice. All right, here's what we've got right before I get to the car. Piece of petrified bone, or petrified fossilized bone. Some uh, yellow jasper with some lines running through it. Some little agates here. Nice and glowing, lovely colors and bands. Um, let's see, this one I just showed you. Neat, this one find of the day still absolutely awesome and then another banger right here and that's it so thanks for watching y'all get the sand off the camera and uh i really appreciate it bye